Welcome to Sage Pestle Payroll's How to Create Transaction 5009's video. Please note that the code 5008 and 5009 should not be processed together. Transaction code 5009 calculates shifts by only looking at transaction 5002 and 5016. Transaction code 5009 can be found on both the default and the income tabs of the process payslip screen. If your bonus amount seems a bit low, check that the year-to-date value on code 5009 is the correct value. It calculates based on the quantity of hours on transaction code 5002 and 5016. Amount of shifts will never have a decimal and will always be rounded down. If the year to date seems low, you can reconcile the values by checking the quantity of hours processed for the year on codes 5002 and 5016 by printing the transaction listing. Filter for one pay frequency at a time. Click on the frequency, select employees, select code. Make sure to show all employees and click on OK on the filter screen. Select the from period as the first period in this tax year and the to period to be the current period that you're in. Leave the from transaction blank and the to transactions as ZZZZ. Then click on transactions. Move the transactions 5002 and 5016 to the right hand side, then click on OK. Check the period quantity column, then scroll down to the bottom of that employee to see the quantity of hours that the employee has worked in this current tax year. The shift calculation looks at hours worked from January to December, so you will need to open your year-end company for the previous tax year and print the transaction listing from the first period ending in January to the end of that tax year. Add the quantity from the year in company to the quantity of the current tax year, then divide it by the average hours per day. In our case, it will be 520 hours in the current tax year and zero hours from the year in company, as this employee only started in September. We will then divide the quantity by 7.75, and the shifts for this employee for the tax year will then be 67. To correct the year-to-date values for transaction 5009, navigate to the Income tab of this employee's payslip. Click on Override. Then make this amount a zero. Now, calculate the difference between the year-to-date value and what the calculated amount should be and add this value to the period amount. The year-to-date should be 67. After making the period value as 0, the year-to-date value is showing as 5, so I will enter 62 in the period value to change the year-to-date to 67. Once this is done, you can save the payslip. Thank you for watching our video. Reach out to us on our SoundCloud platform.